Let me start off with saying, you are not alone. I too have done bad on an exam. In fact, I've failed exams before and even had to retake my first chemistry class. I remember feeling defeated, embarrassed, and worried if I could really do this. If you're feeling this way, then the advice I have in this video is for you, especially the extra advice at the end. Here are four reasons why your exam didn't go so well. Reason one, you have a negative association with school. Back when I was a chemistry major who wanted to be a dentist, I wanted to be in dental school already and not have to take the classes I was required to take. Because of this, I had a negative association with school and my overall mentality wasn't helping. Every day I would say to myself, get in, get out. If you constantly are viewing school or exams in a negative way, then you're not going to want to study or even continue. And if school is needed for your desired career, then this has to change. We have the choice to either remain on the same level or to level up. Every exam and class is a way to level up and get closer to what you want. This class is not an obstacle, it's an opportunity. I know there will be classes that you dread studying for or are honestly just boring. The way to make this more enjoyable is by linking studying to something you actually enjoy. Whether that's going to a nice coffee shop, treating yourself to a latte, listening to music, or taking a walk. Another way to enjoy studying a little more is by improving your workspace. I recently got a customizable stand-up desk from FlexiSpot. I surprised myself and was able to build it all on my own. I've never had the option to pick the color of the frame, the desktop, and even how many tiers my desk could have. It's important to make your space your own and add those finishing touches that make you happy. The beauty of a stand-up desk is when you feel like your energy is starting to run out, you push a button, stand up, move around a little bit, and you're able to keep going. And the beauty of a FlexiSpot stand-up desk is being able to customize it and receive it pretty quickly. To start customizing your own stand-up desk, click the link in the description. Reason two, you didn't know what to expect. If your professor didn't provide practice exams or any idea of what their exam would look like, then how could you fully be prepared? The solution here is asking your professor if they could provide a practice exam or examples of problems. If you were assigned homework problems, ask if the exam will be similar to those problems. Reason three, test anxiety. Did you feel like you froze during your exam and completely forgot what you studied? Did you run out of time or just feel tense and overwhelmed? I was all of the above. I sometimes would get panic attacks before an exam I even cried during an exam, but I found a way to overcome this test anxiety. By not only preparing for the test, but preparing for the testing environment. Here's how. Grab a practice exam, either from your teacher or make one yourself. You can also ask a classmate to make a practice exam for you and you do the same for them. Treat that practice exam as the real thing. So time yourself, don't use any notes, and if possible, go somewhere that resembles the testing environment like the library. If you tend to freeze on exams, I recommend writing down everything you think you'll forget right when the exam starts. Write all those formulas you memorized down so you don't have to keep trying to remember them all throughout the exam. Know what to say to yourself when you feel like you're having a panic attack or feeling overwhelmed. If you know you studied a lot for this exam, count how many hours you studied and repeat that to yourself. I studied 20 hours for this exam. I took a practice exam and did great. I am ready for this. Reason four, you're doing way too much. Let's say on Monday you're motivated and you show up to all your classes, study for seven hours straight, get several assignments done. Then come Tuesday, you miss your first class and you just wanna sleep in and watch Netflix all day. You burnt yourself out. The problem with doing so much all at once is that it's not manageable. Instead, 
figure out what is the minimum amount of work you need to do to still achieve your goals, and what's the maximum amount of work you can do without burning yourself out. Never do less than your minimum, and never do more than your maximum. This idea comes from the book Effortless by Greg McEwen. This book has helped me manage my own burnout from running my business. The last and most important thing to do right now is forgive yourself. We tend to be really hard on ourselves, whether it's negative thoughts like, how could you be so stupid? I can't believe you did that. You're not blank enough. Instead of doing that, apologize to yourself. I'm sorry for letting you down. Then forgive yourself. I forgive you and I'm going to figure this out because I am smart enough and I am capable. Let me know if these reasons resonated with you and if you're taking chemistry, subscribe.